and uh, previously in 2013 2017 and failure of some kits to correctly identify um, uh, you know voters uh, I guess the petition is raising issues such as uh, what happens in cases of mass failure of the Keem's kits uh, what happens to um, you know other voters who whose um, fingerprints or, or you know uh, might be the biometrics. Uh, the biometrics might be interfered with well it's 42 days to go to the election you know who knows what could happen uh, in the midst of that. So, um, you know, obviously the, the ghosts of 2013 and 17 coming back and just maybe trying to make sure that um, everything is settled, Kabive. And you know, the, the IBC has got a responsibility to ensure that everybody votes. Everybody who is eligible, who is registered, votes. Now, when they pronounce, because they wrote to um, a petition, questions asked by Azimio, uh, whether they will be using the manual register, and indeed, in the, in the review of the elections in, of 2007 and in the 2017 uh, presidential elections, there was the question of the manual register being misused. And therefore, the, the, the IBC is reacting to that. It's saying that the court has given ruling on two occasions mm -hmm. that really the manual register can be misused. Fine. So if you're using the electronic register, what uh, we need to know as citizens is that, one, the experiences of 2017 where like 11,000 came kids failed they could not work they didn't have battery or they didn't have uh, coverage that will not be repeated what has been done to ensure that happens you know we are not saying that the IBC is uh, uh, is wrong to say they do the electronic register but the, the point is what if they fail are we saying 11 thousand uh, KMS kids fail, how many, how many people will not be identified, how many people will not vote. And also that uh, the regulations of IABC, uh, regulation number 69, provides for a situation when, uh, why the manual register could be used. Mm -hmm. Maybe the question, uh, are these include when the, you know, they can't get the biometrics, when, when um, for some reason the the Kim's kit is not functioning and all that. Yeah. It allows. It's a regulation which has already been made by IBC and it is, it is it, the, basically a regulation of elections. So by saying they abandon all that process and go to electronics, it's like they are saying, uh, if you are not then on the electronic, if you cannot be identified, yeah. you will not vote. Uh -huh. And mark you, they are, according to their own records, the um, evaluation by KPMG, 1,111 Polling, polling stations. stations that do not have 4G yeah. uh, network. Yeah. So basically you are saying in some polling stations, people will not vote. You know, how many days to the elections mm. and there's no assurance? Mm. It's, it's Yeah, and it's interesting because um, our voters are identified electronically and then the result is transmitted electronically. Exactly. The voting is what happens uh, manually. And I guess uh, it's the transmission of results that will require uh, 3G, 4G connection um, for the same. Um, and, and I guess IBC's argument has been that, you know, the Keem's kit does not uh, necessarily need that network. But then there have been cases, like you said, of um, even uh, user operational problems by, you know, the, the polling clerks. 